Hi, welcome to Click to Restore. I am Joe, and today I am going to show you how to make a farm wood sign. I took a piece of wood and sanded it down to a smooth surface. I first sanded it with 80 grit and then with a 320 grit. Once I sanded the whole piece of wood down, I wiped it clean and put a thick coat of Dixie Bell Crackle using the Dixie Bell Premium Chip Brush. You can lay the crackle in a horizontal direction, in a vertical, or in a cross hatch pattern. Once you have covered the surface with the crackle, leave it overnight. Let it dry completely. Then it's time to paint over it. I'm using Dixie Bell cotton and a synthetic flat brush. Apply a thick coat of paint over the crackle. Do not go back and forth because the paint dries really fast when you apply it over the crackle. Apply the paint on the surface, do not use water. And in a few minutes you will see the crackle has started working. And you can see the crackling on the entire surface like this. I let the crackle dry completely for a few hours. Then I took the stencil from Redesign with Prima, Dixie Bell Savannah Mist and a flat tip brush from Redesign to create the pattern. I lay it flat on the wood and took a little bit of paint on the tip of my brush and stipple it. I stippled the paint on the entire stencil and I had a beautiful pattern on the wood. And here is the beautiful stencil, the crackle effect on this piece of wood. Now let's get ready to do the transfer. I'm using Redesign with Prima Fall Fresh Transfer. It comes in two different designs, so I decided to use the bold version because it fit well on the piece. The bold version was a perfect fit for this size, so I went with it. The redesign with Prima transfers come with a wooden tool, but you can also buy a separate tool which is specifically for the transfers and it's easier on hands. I separated the two sheets of the transfer, like you can see in the video, and laid it flat on the wood. Align it. Put it where you want and press it with your hand to take out any air bubbles that may be lying underneath. Then start rubbing the transfer on the wood with the wooden tool. Go slowly making sure the transfer is getting onto the wood. To make the rubbing of the transfer easier and faster, I just lift one of the corners of the sheet and keep on rubbing on the top. That way I can see the transfer is going onto the furniture and my sheet is coming out clear. The lifting of the sheet and rubbing at the same time makes it easier for you to see that the transfer is leaving the sheet and going onto the furniture. I personally prefer the plastic transfer tool as it's easier to hold it like a pen have the right grip 
and it doesn't hurt my hand but you can use the wooden tool that comes with the transfer or this one Once the transfer is on the wood, you will see you have a clean sheet. Press the transfer with the finger, squeezing out any air bubbles that may have, and then seal it with a clear coat or a clear wax. And here you have a beautiful form sign.